Monik Rotala. That is M-A-A-N-I-K, last name C-H-O-T-A-L-L-A. And I'll be doing topic number two, which I believe was, what would ancient philosophers say about the world that we saw today? I was almost told that I should respect my elders, that they're wiser than I am, that they know more than I want to. And God damn it, Monica, if you don't tell your grandma right now, I will slap you upside the head with a shoe in this restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, we live in a world in which we prescribe the fact that people who are our elders are automatically better than us. Which is why, when we look towards the question of what would ancient philosophers say if they saw our world today, they would say that we are a society which is obsessed with the labels we prescribe to people. And this is the case for three great Greek ways. First, we'll look towards religion and how we examine that based on the labels we prescribe to people there. Next, we'll look at the political atmosphere and how we prescribe what people are based on what they identify with. Before finally looking at why we do these things as they stand. So first, Aristotle believed that everything had its own talents, that they had their own purpose in what they exist for. So for instance, the purpose of a fork is to eat things with, or the purpose of a college student is to spend their parents' money. <laughs> <laughs> but even though these may be the case, we don't prescribe that same idea towards religion. In today's world, we look towards religion rather than a way of achieving a good moral order of our faith. We look towards the differences and what it creates between us as people. For instance, for me as a Sikh person, I believe in things like social justice, community service, and assisting other people as they are. Whereas somebody who practices Catholicism may say that they believe in social justice, community service, and assisting people on for human dignity. <laughs> Someone stop me if those are too radically different. <laughs> because the fact is, is that they are. But why is it that we really so much emphasis upon a Catholic person being so different from a Sikh. That somehow somebody who practices the Muslim faith, it has to be so radically different from someone who is Jewish. And it's these ideas that we prescribe that has led to us creating rifts between people. And rather than looking towards people as what they are, human beings, we look to them based on that label that we put on them. Which Aristotle would say is not something that we should do. Because we don't look towards what religion means. Religion's purpose in the first place was to make us good people who can assist others and to live out our faith in as good of a way as possible. And we can clearly see that's not how we're using it in today's world. But this is also the case in our political atmosphere. Democrats and Republicans. That was a joke. Why are you going to be laughing? <laughs> Most people identify as either a Democrat or a Republican. Yet why is it that roughly 40% of Americans now identify as an independent? And it's a scary world out there for those independents. I mean, they get made fun of all the time. And it's a rough world because a lot of the times they don't get a voice or respect that a lot of people say that they should. Mainly it's because a lot of Democrats and Republicans try to distance themselves from each other. That somehow, just because as somebody who's a Democrat, I might believe in one issue about gun control differently than a Republican, that somehow makes us add people against each other. That we have to be up in arms and completely against our ideologies as a whole. It takes away from the human aspect of what we believe in. The purpose of a democracy, as it stood back in ancient Greece, was representation for the people based on the interest of the people. And that's quite frankly not what we're achieving anymore when we want to distance ourselves from everybody in our own communities. Look at us right now. We are all sorts of people standing with each other discussing topics of our day. Yet why is it that just because if I might believe something different, that makes me so radically different from what everybody else might want to talk about? If anything, it's something that we should encourage because it allows for good debate, good discussion, and an excellent way to change our world. So why do we do this? Well, just like Socrates said in his most famous quote ever, why? <laughs> Seriously, that's all he said. <laughs> and frankly, it's seen in two different ways. The primary way is to why we love to stick to the system in which we identify people based on their own labels is because we don't want to change it. It's a solid system. 
We get to know what people believe in based on what we prescribe, and we get to look towards other people and that sort of a light. But that takes away from the aspect of who we are as people themselves. And with why today, I'd like to urge everybody to go past that. Be the person who wants to rock the boat. I get it, it's scary to go ahead and go against the status quo, but it's something that's necessary in order for us as people to connect and believe in each other and what we have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd just like to thank you all for speaking as a person who wants to make a change in this world. Thank you.